it is Naya. Okay, so long time no see. I know what you're thinking. Naya, why have you been in my We thought you were dead. It has just been really hectic lately with school and finals, but I am currently in my last week of school and I'm so excited in summer. And of course, to all the book lovers out there, summer means reading and reading means happiness. Anyways, okay, so today's video I'm so excited about and it is long overdue. Recently, well, I guess not so recently anymore, about like two or three weeks ago, I went to a book signing event. <sighs> And it was so much fun. So as you guys know, I went to the um, Jennifer Newman book signing event, but it was so much fun. About like three days after that was another book signing for four authors that <gasps> are the four most amazing people in the world. Okay, I'm just gonna go through all the authors that were there. There's Trisha Lieber, and she's the author or um, co-author of um, Creed, which is a horror slash thriller novel that has to do with a group, well not really a group, like three teens who go on sort of not really a road trip but are driving somewhere and their car breaks down and they come across this very strange town. Now of course just based off of that we know stuff's gonna go down and really suspenseful stuff is gonna go down. And I got to meet her and she was so like I just want her brain. Can I have her brain? The author of One of the Guides by Lisa Alden and this book right here has be on my top five favorite contemporary book list. Um, it's funny. It has a relatable main character who loves to drink Mountain Dew. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Caffeineaholics right over here. It was just like the characters are wonderful, the story, the setting. It was just so perfect and it captured a moment in this girl's life and it was so beautiful and I got to meet the author and she was like, can I just have all of their brains? The next author I got to meet was the author of Love and Other Variables or Other Unknown Variables. Now this book also has to be one of my new top favorite contemporaries. It was so swat, ugh, swad. It was swad. It was sad and sweet. Swat. Oh man, I can't even begin to talk about this book. Um, a lot of people keep comparing this book to other popular books, but honestly, it's so unique, and I just, I need, like, to read this again just because the feeling you get after you finish reading it, uh, it's just like so painful but addictive you know Shannon Lee Alexander the author and she, it was okay this is the funniest thing so I was like sitting at this little booth because um, at the event I had a little booth with um, another blogger um, I got I was sitting there reading this book and then just Shannon Lee just comes and she's there early before the event and she just she just comes walking my way and it's like I'm looking up at the author and then I'm looking down to read her book and I'm looking back up at the author and I'm just like oh my god this is so for all of these books but it was just oh, the authors I, I want her brain too the last author that was at the signing event um, was Sharon Waller and she is um, the author of a mad and wicked folly now I read this book back in 2013 is that when it came out like when it first came out it was last year I read this book probably early last year I think I read it and it is sort of like historical fiction as you guys know I I am a history buff. Well, okay, no, I, I don't know a lot of things about history. I love historical fiction and this book was something that I really enjoyed because it kind of has to do with sort of the women's rights movement and I am all for that. I love reading about the women's rights movement. I love reading about that sort of time period and I got to be the author of this book too and I was just, it was so cool and you know, of course, I was trying to be cool, calm, and collected but... So yeah, I got to meet all those authors. I read all of these books like a week before, like literally three days. I read all four of these books in about three days before the event was. Um, so the day of the event, I was just a pool of emotions and I was just still trying to get over all these books. Like, <gasps> it was so hard. So I also got to meet um, probably one of my new book friends best friends like she is so amazing um her name is Mary Claire and she is the writer and the curator behind Real Rad Reads which is a blog um it's realradreads.com I will include a link to her channel below and also her social media below um but she was so cool um me and her we both had like this little booth at the event because it was sort of like a Girl Scout event and um we had a little booth where we got to kind of talk about vlogging and blogging to people who kind of came up and wanted to know more about it and we got to 
recommend books and it was so much fun and you guys can just check out my Instagram and Mary Claire's Instagram because we have pictures all up on there and I'm also going to show you a video in about a minute and I um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, me and Mary Claire, we were there kind of early before the event, like I said we had a booth so we were kind of just like joking around and playing book games together which we also videotaped. We played this game where we tried to... We, we, we were describing books to each other and the other person had to guess what book we were describing. It was really fun. Okay, so I'm gonna stop talking now and show you guys the video. So I will see you later for all the authors who were there and are watching this. You guys are so amazing. Enjoy the video and bye. Okay, so who did you murder? No, no. <laughs> oh yeah, this is an interrogation right now. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So this book, is about stupid teenagers. Oh gosh, every single one. <laughs> and it's similar to the Hunger Games, except way more modern and really stupid. But it's like your right Scorpio of races. <sighs> right of passage. Um I'm trying to think. Is it Creed? <laughs> it could be Creed no. no. And they have this tradition of having um, the seniors participate in these <gasps> oh, games. Oh, is it, is it told from a girl, like two points of view, a girl and a guy? Yes. Okay, is the girl, is this like her first time being in? Yes. Is it Panic? She, yeah. I know. She's got the shovels. <laughs> <laughs> I know you oh do. Oh my god. And, and now I have two Oh, I have a question. Beaver teeth or lobster claws? Beaver teeth. Beaver teeth. Okay. <laughs> so would you rather oh. have lobster claws? Well, I already have beaver teeth, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> beaver teeth. Uh, I mean, it came dry. Came. <laughs> good luck using the restroom. <laughs> 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 what about you, beaver teeth or glossy claws? I was, yeah, beaver teeth. Beaver teeth. Because I couldn't shake someone's hand, and then yeah. what's exactly. the purpose of like? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, your thing. No, I didn't make these. <laughs> <laughs> Who influenced your choice of career? Oh, oh that's a Which good question. Career? I don't know. I thought like, <laughs> that. So who influenced your writing? 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 Do you want to say? Or who influenced you to become a writer? I actually know that. Okay, go. Okay, I actually have a definitive date. Oh, wow. It was April of my seventh grade year, Sister Yvonne. Uh, I went to a Catholic school and I had to sit in the front of the class. It was a Friday. I know it was a Friday because they served tuna fish in the convent on Friday. And if you sat in the front of the class, it was a bad idea. Where can a person in your field work? In my pajamas. <laughs> where can we In my like, house. What, is, what do you mean? Like literally? Like where? Like where can in my pajamas. Can anywhere. <laughs> so where can a writer work? Gosh, anywhere you can fit. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably, is it have to be a YA book? It can be any book. I would be Claire from the Outlander series. No. <laughs> Don't spoil me. <laughs> no. Jamie Fraser, right? Yeah. He's on tonight. What time is it? Oh, we <laughs> oh, oh, need to wrap this up? Okay. No, I'm not sure I'd want to live in the 1700s, so. <laughs> I wanted to be when I was little, it was Matilda. Oh, um, yeah. Matilda. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Um, you're gonna laugh when I say this. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be Max from the Wild. Oh yeah. Did you have the pajamas? I I did, but not with the head because they didn't have the heads then, right? Yeah. Just had the three <laughs> pajamas, and I had to, like taped it to like a cotton ball tail.